morning. Today is December 20th, <laughs> 2018. Hi, Kim. Hi, Shannon. How's everybody? Hi, everybody else who's watching. Hello. Um, if anybody else is watching, I'm just assuming. Um, yeah, so no weight loss again. I think I'm on a plateau right now, but I have been pretty much sticking with it. Last night, I did eat two of those peppermint biscuits or cookies, sorry, cookies that I made last weekend, but I just need them gone and I don't want to throw them away. So Ian's been going at them and sorry about the bed hair again today. Ian's been going at them, but I made a lot. So yeah. And I promised him gingerbread or ginger snaps, so I have to do that as well. Um, get that done. So no, no weight loss. Um, busy yesterday up and down the stairs. Um, I made myself do 12 repeats on the stairs yesterday, which was you know, like not normal going up downstairs, but going up downstairs. Um, today, I'm just going to do some floor exercises, I think, and um, try to figure something out up for the back of my chair. Um, yeah, either a pillow or something um, to force me to sit up straight that way holding my tummy in makes more sense because I try I try to be cognizant of the fact that I'm just sitting here either slouched or my tummy's not being held in or whatever um, and hang on a minute I just want to look something up really quick why are you not doing it Sorry. So I just want to look up a, something I don't want to tell you guys, but yeah, I, oh, my browser set crap. I'll have to find it later. I found a really good tip on organizing your, your exercise, like actually organizing your exercise. So yeah, um, that's cool. I will look that up and I will let you guys all know next time. Um, so yeah, anywho, um, so I'm on a plateau. I'm not depressed about it, but I have made plans. So I would like to lose two, two, two and a half pounds by the end of this year, more. And I have set a goal for um, a pound a week for next year. So if I exceed that, that's great. If I don't, that's fine. That's still four pounds. Um, that's still four pounds a month. And sorry, that's still four pounds a month. And that's 48 pounds by the end of the year. So slow and steady wins the race. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing what I got to, I guess. I'm whispering and I don't know why. It's really weird. So yesterday, so yeah, I did that. Plus I had to go outside and up and down the basement stairs outside yesterday because I did my bedding and a little bit more laundry. It is horrible out today and I'll be able to show you because I did move the camera as promised. But let's talk about what I got done yesterday. So, um, here, hang on a minute. Let me just minimize some things. So as you can see, I have a new container thing over here that now looks very 1960s nursery-like. But it's going to help me organize all this mess. My, um, over. So my spool um, holder will go on the pegboard that's going to be going on that wall. Which will hopefully be here quite soon. Wow, it's really raining. Um, I'll show you outside in a minute. Um, like the zippers and things that are up there will go in into there. Um, most of these bins, and there's three bins here, and I don't know if you can see, but most of those things will go in. Um, I'm going to be steadily working through my fabric. Um, if anybody has a kiddie pool they want to send me here in the UK, I'd be more than happy to take it because I am washing that wool. Um, so yeah, so organization is coming. I have a load of these kind of little containers that I got for I don't know how much yet. Um, B and Q, which is like Home Depot, um, like, and I've labeled them on the end, so that one's crossed its stripe. Right. These I have one, two, one, two, seven, eight of them, and they'll be going in the little baskets that are on the bottom there. See those baskets? So those will be out of the way, which will really, really help. 
Um, some of my works in progress will go there. And, you know, just other things. Like things that I don't use all the time, like my little, which, okay. So I have little things in this dish. This is actually really, so this is a proper Japanese dish that I got at an antique place and I have ruined it and I mean proper ruined it maybe it's Chinese Japanese I don't know anyway um but things like that will go up there so when I need them for crafting other things I can access them but they're out of the way and not seen yeah so what did I do yesterday um I spun, well, I cleaned in here. It doesn't look like it, but I did. But I spun. I'm getting, oh, hang up. I'm getting a little bit of exercise on my spinning wheel because you have to pedal, pedal all the time. And I pedaled for, I don't know, an hour yesterday. Uh, I started to finish up this Jingle Bell Merino. That's what I've got left to do. And then, oops. Oh my golly. And then I am going to apply it with this one that I've already finished. And then that will be a light fingering weight. So if you're not a knitter, that will turn into socks or a fingering weight cat of some description. Um, I went, I have this nice bag here. It's called, it's an eagle to go, good to go. And it has lots and lots of pockets and stuff, but I use it to store my um, roving. And I hadn't looked in it since we moved because I hadn't really spun a lot since we, since we moved back from America. But it, they opened it and I found this. Ooh, I don't want it to look blue because it's not, it's gray. This is Merino Yak and Silk by Red Canyon Fibers. And oh my God, I just, I want to sleep with it. It's lovely. So that's the next thing that's going to get done. I'm probably going to get myself a cowl with that because that is lovely. And I'm probably going to spin it up as a single. So it keeps that light airy feeling, but yeah. So hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit more spinning done today. Well, I say a little bit more. I'd really like that to be gone. Then those two bobbins can rest and that, that would be a good thing to finish off. I still have this wonderfulness that I got in on Kent Island. Um, I don't know if the colors will even show up as true on here, but there's some lovely browns and yellows, very autumnal. I think that's showing up as much more. Well, it is a pretty bright, rusty red. But yeah, so I think I'm going to try to spin this one as a center pull. So I'm going to break, break it off like this, and then... I am going to hold it like this and like this. So hold it like a horseshoe and then just pull out of the middle. Just draft it out of the middle like that. Hopefully it'll work. Some, it's really weird because some dye colors almost stick, make the fibers stick together like the red in this Jingle Bells make your fiber it makes it very hard the red here makes it very hard to draft that and the yellow seems to be the same so we'll see how the brown is but yeah i mean i'm not being funny i really like that jingle bells it's got stolina in it so it's sparkly as well but it is not it's not been a fun spin and I have had fun spins, but that was not one of them. So hopefully I'll get that done and get something made with it for next year. So that's what I'm up to. Um, I also have printed out 
I don't know, this is the second time I recorded this, so I don't know if I've even shown this. But the Hilda mittens that I still have one to finish pattern. I have this. This isn't going to show up right. There's no way that's going to show up right. But this is teal. It's not blue. It's teal. It's not even remotely close to that ugly blue color that you're saying. But it's teal and I have knit myself a hat out of that. And then I forgot that I had enough left to do mittens and I did a Hilda mitten in this same thing. So I am going to do the other Hilda mitten because I have written out the pattern in English. It's a free pattern, so I'm not showing you anything. And I am going to knit my other one. So I have a set for myself that takes us into what's happening next year. Like I said, I have weight goals and I have crafting goals. Um, this is my end of year crafting goal. This will be done by close of business. December 31st um, but my knitting for next year as I said for the two years I'm going to be knitting um, autumnal and stitching autumnal things and so what I've decided is this year money was kind of tight because we bought the house and we had things to do we had to pay the movers blah 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 and it all adds up and um, so what we did this year instead of buying things and shipping them because you know it's not unlike me to spend a hundred quid on each on one of on the grandkids so you know that's a lot of money it's like 500 pounds which is like 750 dollars just on grandkids that's not kids that's not you know daughters-in-law um or parents, Ian's parents, or whatever, and speak nothing of each other. So this year, because things were so tight, what we did to cut that down, because by the time, like my grandsons in America, by the time I get done buying the things for Jackson and Grace and, and shipping them, I probably spent 175 pounds. That's just on two of the five. So this year we just did Amazon gift certificates. We contacted everybody and said, look, you know, this is the situation. Um, and with no shame whatsoever. And this is what we're going to do for everybody. So everybody got Amazon gift certificates. Everybody got the same exact amount of money. Um, and it won't be like that next year. But this year it had to be like that. And so, but I thought, I've got tons of wool. You can see behind my thing, I've got tons of wool in that cupboard. And it isn't all feminine. There's a lot of masculine colors in there. And I have wool down there in a thing. And I have wool that's in the basement. And I thought, why not knit everybody a set of mittens or gloves and a hat? And perhaps a scarf. Um, so what I'm going to do is make a list of all the kids and, um, I'm just going to start. So, well, clearly I'm going to start with Ian. And then what I've done is I've just gone by age. So children first, then grandkids, because grandkid ones will go fairly quickly, I think anyway, um, because we have a few smaller ones. And we have a new grandchild coming, um, I think January, so that's good. So, um, so that's what's happening. Now they won't just be plain old, you know, because I should make it easy. They won't just be plain old knitting. It'll, you know, it'll be something for the grown-up kids, like my oldest grandson. Um, it'll be, you know, a patterned mitten. For the other ones, it probably won't be, but for all the adults, they'll be a, it'll be a patterned thing. Um, thank God I bought that Nordic bouquet. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so that that's my that's my knitting goal for next year. My cross stitching goal is to try to use one third of the patterns that I currently have in my stash 
up. Um, and one especially, which uh, is a Christmas, a Danish Christmas pattern, because I'd really like to get it done and get it framed and hang it at Christmas in the house. So anyway, yeah. So also, I thought that pattern would be quite good in a mitten. So I'm, I'm thinking of taking the pattern that I'm currently using, the stitch count on it, and trying to make that mitten with the pattern from that cross stitch. So we'll see, fingers crossed. Anyway, this isn't a knitting and cross stitching thing. These are just my goals, along with my weight goals for next year. So anyway, uh, one thing I do wanna ask everybody again is if you have any ideas about how I can better organize my time, I would appreciate very much any suggestions that you might have. It's very easy in my professional life as a project manager to organize my team's time and their goals, but when it's just me by myself, I have a problem with that. And I have a problem sticking to a strict schedule, but that's part of my self-control thing, I suppose, and I am working on that. And I'm doing quite a good job because I'm having an orange for breakfast and a cup of coffee, and I am watching what I have at lunchtime. I am, instead of staying downstairs, I am coming right back up here and getting right back at it because that way I'm not near the kitchen. I bring a warm cup of something, tea, regular tea or ginger and lemon or buttermint or a cup of coffee up and I stay the hell away from my kitchen. So yeah, so there you go. Anyways, that's what I'm up to. Um, five days till Christmas, but I will keep podcasting right up until Christmas. So no worries. Um, Saturdays will probably get loaded a little bit later. I might have a little bit of extra footage though, um, if I can manage it. Um, but yeah, so I will now show you what it looks like outside here. Now that all the leaves are gone, way down on the main street, which you'll see a lot of traffic, you can see the Sunoco station. <laughs> or is it Shell? Hey, Shell. Sorry. Can't wait for the trees to get their leaves again. Anyway, I am going to show you outside. Hopefully, you won't just see me and my reflection. And you are. Hang on. Let me shut the light out. Maybe that will make it better. Maybe that will help a bit. Oh, that's a little bit better. Ooh, bird. So there's the Shell Station. You can just see it. And there's the steeple from our local C of E church. And that's my back garden, neighbor's back garden. They just sold their house. So we're kind of worried about who they sold it to because we're kind of hoping it's not a young couple that wants to have parties all night. But yeah. Oh my God, my ledge needs a clean. But yeah, there we go. And there's Sheila's garden over there. But yeah, that's what it looks like out on the hills today. Alrighty, well, I guess. Hang on, I'll turn the light back on. Oh, you know what? Can I turn the light back on? Let's see if this looks like teal. Oh my God, look at that. Natural light. That's that, that's what it looks like. That's the teal. Yay. Oh my God, this has been 18 minutes long. Really sorry, you guys. All right, well, ooh, that's all mucked up now. Sorry, everybody. Okay, good to go. All right, I will talk to you all later. You take care.